Hey folks, Super Dave down here at Blue Dog RV here in Redmond, Oregon. I've got my great product specialist here, Roger Ware. He's a good friend of mine. He's going to talk to you today about the 17 MKE Imagine by Grand Design. Awesome little trailer. So good morning, everybody. Welcome to Blue Dog RV. My name is Roger. I'm here with Super Dave. And this morning, we're going to go over a 17 MKE from Grand Design. So this morning, one of the things I want to take advantage of is the weather we have outside tonight. It shows a little bit of frost. And it shows up here on our trailer. If you look through here, you can see where it actually has the aluminum inside the trailer. Every window, as you can see, is actually framed individually throughout the, the Grand Design series. The 17 MKE is a nice little lightweight trailer. As you can see, it is a tandem axle trailer, so it's gonna make it easy to tow. First and foremost, we have your power jack. This makes it really nice when you're <clears throat> hooking or unhooking from your tow vehicle, as well as when you're leveling your trailer up inside your camp area. This side is just a power light, so you can see what you're doing at night. This side is how you're actually gonna run the tongue of the trailer up and down. Right back under here, you do have the adaptability under this cap to where if you lose power, it turns into a manual jack. So the other thing I wanna show you up front is the propane system on the 17 MKE. On this trailer, we have two five gallon tanks. In the middle, in between them, you have your regulator valve. The nice thing about this regulator valve is if I have both my tanks open, it's gonna drain the tank it's pointing at first and then automatically swap over and start pulling from the other tank. So one of the nice things about the 17 MKE made by Grand Design is the fact of its convenience in towing. The entire trailer is only 21 feet, 11 inches long. This trailer has a dry weight that is listed on it of 4,844 pounds. That means it can be towed by most smaller to mid-sized pickups. So on this side of the trailer is where your city water connections and everything are going to be. Remember, this is an insulated compartment so that when you hook your water up, you can close your outer door and not have to worry about freezing. We're gonna start up top up here. The first thing you have is a 110 receptacle. Once your trailer is plugged into a power source, that will be activated. Next to it is your cable connection, if you have cable at a campground. The switch down here, this switch turns a little blue light over your dump valve so you can see what you're doing at night. The red switch, this is your battery disconnect. When you're storing the trailer for long periods of time, you can disconnect that, pull the key out, it's gonna stop your battery from going dead over a long period of time in storage. Down below it, this is the controller to the solar panel that's on this trailer. This trailer does have a small solar panel to keep your batteries topped off. This is the readout where you can control that. The next one right down below that is your city water connection. This is where you're gonna bring your water into your trailer. Once you have a hose hooked to that, this blue valve right here you leave it in city water, it's just gonna run the water out of the campground. Should you choose to fill up your tank at the same time, you can rotate this blue lever up to fresh tank fill. That then will in turn fill your fresh tank. When you're done, put it back down into city water. Just consider that normal operation. And down below that is your outside shower with hot and cold water so that you can wash things off outside, dogs, kids, stuff like that. So now that we're done with the inside compartment, the last thing I'd like to cover on the outside of the trailer is the outside slide. Now you're gonna notice this one is a Swintec slide. It is good for smooth operation. The nice thing about the Grand Design, whether it be the 17 MKE or any other Grand Design, is all of their slide outs are the same wall press fitting as the normal wall. So you have the same insulation value you will have any other part of the trailer. The only two parts that are higher is the roof and the floor. So one of the nice features on this 17 MKE is the continuous hot water heater. This does not have a hot water tank. Once it's hooked up to water and you ask for hot water, it's gonna continually provide hot water until you are done with it. And it is controlled off of this system right here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much most everything on the outside. Let's go ahead and step inside the trailer and take a look at some of the conveniences inside.
Now that we're inside the trailer, you'll notice this is kind of a nice little compact trailer, but it has all the, the conveniences of any other larger trailers. So we're gonna start up front. First, you have the nice love seat. When it's time to sleep, this simply rotates forward. If you're really lazy, you can just lay there. However, if you want a little bit more space, your bed will actually fold down. And then you have a full queen size bed. So inside this trailer, it's going to come from factory. You're going to have your, your small TV. It's about a 35 inch TV. This one is a telescopic or you can come out and set it up and watch it from bed. Besides your TV, this is gonna be your control panel for the inside of the trailer. This side is your radio. You'll notice that you have an integrated inside and outside radio. You have speakers inside the trailer as well as outside. This panel right here is your control panel to control your trailer inside. Ceiling lights. Exterior lights and water pumps are all up here, as well as the control for your slide and your awning. Now, one little tidbit that I want to throw in here, this is kind of nice. Grand Design, as well as some of the other manufacturers, you have the ability to control your trailer off of your smartphone simply by scanning the QR code right here. Now, down below your control panel, you have your sink, your, your kitchen sink. The sinks are kind of nice nowadays in the trailers. It does come down and turn into a sprayer, as well as hot and cold running water. Just beyond the sink is your three, turn, three burner gas stove. Nice thing about this stove, especially if you have little kids running around, anytime gas is flowing, the outer ring is going to be red. When gas is not flowing, it'll be off. The stove does come with a gas oven, as well as a standard microwave. So one of the nice things about this trailer is the 12 volt refrigerator. If you remember when I was talking outside, I was talking a little bit about the solar panel. One of the reasons this has solar on it is to supply the power to the 12 volt fridge. This refrigerator <clears throat> will actively cool as you're driving down the road because it is a 12 volt and can be left on where propane may not be able to. You have the standard fridge down below and then a large freezer up top for those of you who like to take your ice cream camping. Now, as you can see, I'm six foot one and I'm not a small person and I fit in the shower just fine. I do have plenty of headroom. I have a wand that I can use to take my shower with and hot and cold running water. In here as well, I have a sliding shower door that has its own sweeper on it so I don't have water inside. Inside the bathroom, I have hot and cold water, running water in the sink, as well as a full functional porcelain commode. So now if you all remember, we were talking about that full hot water system outside that has the hot, constant hot water that is controlled through this. Simply turn it on, and then I can set my temperature wherever I would like my water temperature to be. When I ask for hot water, it gives it to me. When I'm done, I simply turn it off. Down below that is my control for my heat as well as my air conditioner. Now that we're back out into the party area of the coach, this is the part that you're gonna love. This is great. Number one, I have a full love seat also has cup holders now when I'm sitting here if I want to go up and watch the game it's really nice I simply pull the handle and then I can recline straight back great viewing for the game now if it's a chilly day like it is here I have my heat which is right down here which turns the heater on in my chair and maybe I've been out getting firewood all day. I want to turn my massage on as well. Oh, that's so nice. Now, if this is something that you think you want to rough it in the woods with, with a heat and massage, come look up Super Dave at Blue Dog RV. 
Well, folks, that's a 17 MKE from Grand Design. We hope you enjoyed the trailer. If a trailer like that is something that you're looking for, please come down and see us at Blue Dog RV here in Redmond, Oregon. Come down and say hi to Super Dave and myself. We look forward to seeing you all.